Hi, I'm Janet. In this lesson, we are going to practice arranging paragraphs in order so as to produce a cohesive piece of writing using linking words. Now, we have different uh, ways of linking paragraphs. We are going to look at different ways of linking paragraphs. And the key to successful writing is to ensure that each paragraph, when we use these linking words, contains a word or expression which links it to the preceding paragraph. Now, let us look at uh, how to link words different in different ways. Now, in the start of a paragraph, when we want to ensure that uh, we want to show a change of time, we use linking words like after this, the next day, not long after this, later on, a decade ago, you will notice that these linking words are expressions of time and so when we want to show a change of time in a paragraph or in a start of a new paragraph, then we use these linking words among many more. When we want to show, to show a change of place at the start of a new paragraph, then we may use words like the next school or not far away at the end of this and that a few kilometers away, one meter away, among others, to show a change of place. When we want to show similarity at the start of a new paragraph, then we may use similarity. The same applies to this and that. In a similar way, another good reason, among others. Now, when we want to show contrast, at the start of a new paragraph, then the following expressions or linking words may be used. On the other hand, however, unlike, despite this, it seems that now these are words or linking words that show contrast. Maybe in the previous paragraph you were talking about a different thing and now you want to contrast it, you may end up using these linking words. Now, if you, your composition or your paragraph uh, is talking about processes, maybe processes of cooking, planting, then the following words may apply. First of all, suppose you want to teach them how to plant a tree, then you may begin. First of all, or the process begins with digging a hole, or the second stage is putting manure, or firstly, dig a hole, then Secondly, put manure, next, plant your tree. After that, water it, or before you water, you may add fertilizer, something like that, or thereafter. So these are linking words that are used to show process of doing something when you're writing a paragraph. Now, when you're concluding the paragraph, your final conclusion, you may write, to conclude or in conclusion, that is the start of the conclusion paragraph, all in all, to sum up, finally, to end, to summarize, it can therefore be seen that these are just a few words that may be used to show a conclusion in a concluding paragraph. Now, there are many ways of linking paragraphs, but the most important thing is to make a smooth change from one paragraph to the next using these words we have talked about or more and this is to avoid repetition some students want to know where to use this and this and they may end up uh, mixing up the linking words and the, the paragraphs will not make sense i hope this helps you to improve when you are writing see you in the next one as we put this one into practice